Alex at BP Auto Sports here, and I figured I'd do a little tech video for you guys. On a recent post I made, I mentioned building spark plug wires for my 2JZ setup and had somebody ask how exactly this is done, so I figured I'd show you. I have the engine out of the car behind me, as you see, and I also have this MSD Superconductor Build Your Own Spark Plug Wire Kit. So that, along with a few simple tools, which are your generic part store crimpers, side cuts, needle nose, and some dielectric grease, you too can make your own spark plug wires. As you can see, plug wires two through six are all done. Number one has yet to be completed. So the first thing that you need to do is establish the length that the wire needs to be. So let's go ahead and do that. the number one coil pack back in place here. I have our 90 degree boot on and as you can see I have the plug wire down on the plug in there. So lengthwise on these I like to leave a little bit extra so that way it allows for a little bit of flexibility with it but not too much where you end up binding the wire up. And that's one of the things that you'll figure out the more of these that you do kind of the sweet spot as far as length goes. So what I'll typically do <coughs> is I'll figure my length right to this bottom part right before 90 degree on the boot. Kind of right where that flat is, right above my finger there. I'll do that. I'll push a little bit back on the wire and that will get us our length right about there. So with our length now established on the plug wire, I'll take my pair of cuts and I'll snip the wire off the length. We'll go here, snip off, and then the excess you can discard or keep around if you can figure out another use for it. From here you can pull the coil pack out if you need to, if it's impeding you being able to get back to the wire. In this case it is. So we'll pull the coil pack out, reach in, pull the wire off, and now it's time to put the HEI lead on it. Now we have our wire trimmed the length that it needs to be. So now we'll combine this, our HEI pin, and our 90 degree boot. The first thing that needs to be done with this is you need to trim the insulation back to expose the wire itself. And it can be a little bit difficult to tell exactly how much insulation to trim off to appropriately crimp this lead on, but usually a pretty good rule of thumb is you have the two crimp tangs that are above my index finger right here. And if you put the end of the wire up right about there, <laughs> that will ensure you get the maximum crimp and the maximum amount of contact between the actual internal wire and this pin. So we'll kind of eyeball it here, take off, oh, that looks good there. So we'll go ahead and remove insulation right above my thumb right here. I like to use this pair of flush cuts to do this. You have to be very careful as you're doing this to not get into the actual inter the internal wire itself. So I'll simply go until I feel it start to cut through the insulation, rotate around, so on and so forth, until you have a nice cut around the whole thing, you can then pull off. And there you can see that the actual internal wire is exposed and ready to be crimped to the pin. From here, now that we have the wire exposed on here, it's now time to put the little 90 degree HEI pin on it. So you can pay attention to how you index these in relation to the MSD logo. If you would like, it doesn't really matter. It's mainly just aesthetics. So I like to put the pin so it's right in line with the MSD logo like that. I'll take it, making sure that I don't put the wire or that it doesn't protrude too far above the crimp pins here. I'll take my simple crimp tool here, squeeze down on it, and now it's crimped in place. Now the one thing to notice, as I did crimp it, it bent the top of the pin over, which will not allow it to properly fasten onto the coil pack. So I'll take a pair of needle nose here, gently grab onto it, grab and pry until I get it back up straight again. 
Again, you want to be careful that you don't apply too much force onto this because you can break these pins pretty easily. So from here, it's now time to wrap it around the insulation. Again, I'll just take my pair of needle nose, squeeze, start to shape, start to form the this crimp around it. Squeeze in, squeeze around, roll them over. So on and so forth, until you get a nice uniformly shaped crimp around it there. You can do a little tug test on it, make sure it isn't going to pull off. And from here, you're now ready to put the boot on. You can see here that the pin itself doesn't exactly want to fit inside of the boot. And I highly advise against trying to force this in here without some sort of lubricant on it. Because you can end up breaking the wire, doing undue damage to it, and negating the work that you're just doing here. So what I'll do is take just some basic dielectric grease, squeeze some out, make sure you lubricate the pin adequately. Do that, probably wanna wipe your hand off there. Once you have that lubricated, you get the pin started in there. Just push up and there. It's assembled now and the plug wire is ready to go into service. Now that we have our plug wire completed, it's time to install it on the engine. Obviously I have this bracket going around here that the plug wire needs to go around. So I'll simply fish it around the bracket as it would normally be installed. Get it seated down on the plug itself, like so. I'll put my coil pack back on, tighten it down, and then take my wire. And you'll hear you'll hear it click as I put it on here, like so. Now the plug wire is attached and it's ready to go into service. Obviously you would repeat this process for as many plug wires as you have to make. There's numerous other companies out there that offer build your own plug wire kits like this. MSD is one obviously, Taylor, Excel, and I'm sure there's others out there, but they all operate under the same principles and the same premise of assembly. I used these MSD wires on the last engine setup I had in my car and had good results with them, which led me to use them again on this engine. Now the techniques that I displayed here may not be technically correct, but it's what works for me and what I've always used to put these together and had good success. And you may find different tips or tricks that make it easier for you as well. You can see here we have MSD superconductor eight and a half millimeter plug wires, part number 31193, black universal eight cylinder. So obviously it'll work anything from a single cylinder up to an eight cylinder. Uh, if you want to do a 10 cylinder or something like that, you need more. But yeah, they are quite simple to put on. They look good and they perform exceptionally well, which is the most important part. So thanks for tuning in and I hope this was helpful. If you have any ideas for future little tech videos like this or things that you guys would like to know, uh, feel free to contact me. Let me know in the comments below. Again, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace.